Let's talk about older women who date younger men. And um, I am one of them. I don't make any effort to hide that. I do that for two reasons. Number one, physical. Uh, my, men my age, at least in my area, don't age well. They don't take great care of themselves. They don't stay physically active. I do take care of myself. I do stay active. So it's basic principles of attraction. And then I'm not willing to compromise on the lifestyle that will keep me feeling and looking my best. Number two, it's mental. The men my age that I encounter in my area are battle scarred and they're not willing to make an effort to learn and heal from it. Uh, they don't have a sense of humor. They don't have a zest for life and intellectual curiosity. They're a drag. That said, 10 years younger, that's my general cutoff for long-term consideration. And that's what I think older men and younger women should observe to keep things fair and not an uneven power dynamic. That's based on what I have seen and also other people I know. 10 years is a window where two people can be on a level playing field because they've had similar life experiences. Younger than that, it's possible that they haven't. And that's not fair. It's an uneven power dynamic. And quite frankly, for me, it's just not interesting. Anything more than a 10-year age difference, I have done that. Um, but it's for a fun time, not a long time. Be ready for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 plus years for the change about when it comes to dating and age gaps for women, especially. We've been so used to having older men date younger women for generations right and it's always been acceptable whereas when it comes to a woman who's older dating a younger man it's barely been acceptable and maybe you know people that have been in this situation already and some people will make comments and and you know remarks about it like it's it's not society's um standard of what it should be right it's kind of like a a weird th concept that an older woman could be with a younger man well, the next 10 plus years within that time, it's going to go boom. So many more couples are going to be accepted into society and accepted for having this type of dynamic. So there's definitely going to be a shift in this. And the reason for this is that a lot of women who are older are going to gravitate more towards the younger generational men because of their emotional acceptance they're able to open up emotionally they're emotionally available or their emotional intelligence is is open that they, they want to learn they want to please their woman they want to explore and a lot of women are kind of over the older generational men and there's a reason for this and this is not all men so i don't want you to get if you're triggered by this think about it this might not be you okay but a lot of older guys were born in a generation where not speaking about your emotions, not being able to communicate, not being able to be open about how you feel because it's going to make you look a certain way. And this is where like the older 40, 50, 60 year old men have been brought up because that's how their parents brought them up. Or that's how their, you know, communities brought them up. That's how society brought them up. They had to be men, 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 not show any emotions, right? Whereas now, it's almost like flip the script. Now it's emotion, 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 emotion. So now it's almost like so much emotion. And, you know, I can definitely see from like lots of different people, people that I know, people of people of people of people that I know and don't know, um, that there's a lot more couples that are a lot more women that are gravitating towards younger men and again a lot of younger men who are more interested in older women because one older women know a lot more what they might want compared to the younger women of this generation it's not to say it's a bad thing it's just kind of the perception that's happening right now so a lot of older women will know what they want be very precise be very direct and um, be able to teach things to the younger guys if you are an older lady dating a younger man you shouldn't care what people think because people are going to judge you anyway
you see when men are dating younger women and a lot of them are dating or requesting to date younger women who are 20 years younger than them they speak it with their full chest they don't care what people think so if you as an older woman you shouldn't care what people think you shouldn't care what the the man family things because the man is an adult and if the man family think anything about it then the man is supposed to deal with it that is something that you shouldn't care about right you just know that you are living your life because guess what if you're a woman who follow all the rules they will still judge you if you're a woman who doesn't follow all the rules they will still judge you so the only rule that you should live by is your rule right because they are going to judge you anyway so i want you to put on your big girl underwear right and be confident within your choice and with the decision that you make as long as you are happy and living the life that makes you happy date who the hell you want the ladies want to know why younger men go after older women you know, you might be in your 40s and you're getting approached by the 30s. You're getting approached by the 20s. You may even be getting approached by the 18s and 19s. And why is that? You know, I mean, it's it's because maturity is attractive. It's because these guys at the younger stages understand what confidence looks like and they're attracted to it. Now, yes, there are those out there who are just trying to be like, well, you know, just check the old lady off the box, you know. There are those guys. But when you see a man who is just actively pursuing someone that is older than he is, it's usually geared around maturity and confidence. You've got to remember that these guys who are, you know, now in 20s, Lower than the 20s, you know, upper teens, low 20s, upper 20s, even some of the low 30s, they have grown into a generation that is oriented around selfishness and being better than everybody. You can sit back, or I can at least where I'm at, you can sit back and you can watch women completely neglect any idea and thoughts of attracting people for a relationship because they are so wound up in being better than their sister, than their best friend, than anybody they run into. They want the most guys to want them. And it's not even that these girls even want them in return. They just want to know that all of the guys want them. And that's great. But at the end of the day, that is no way to go through life. You cannot be that level of selfish. You cannot be that level of self-centered. And expect all of these guys to just fall at your feet. It doesn't work that way. So when you are older than a man and he comes up to you, you can 100% bank on. He's either trying to punch a box, snap the, snap the streak of being shut down because he doesn't have all the right materialistic things from the, the younger generation. Or he's trying to figure out how to mature himself and being around someone of maturity just naturally rubs off on him. He's trying to check the box of, you know, sleeping with a woman who's older because he's just into that kind of thing. Or he's just absolutely tired of getting the runaround and he wants some stability in his life. Okay, so the older woman, young man dating debate has blown up on TikTok. This is kind of a bit of a part two. Didn't even think there'd be a part two, but the response was overwhelmingly positive for older women dating younger men. Two parts to this. The first one is that the women that are successfully navigating relationships with younger guys are raving about it. They have indicated that the men treat them like queens. They have the same vibrancies. Their energies are matching both physically and mentally, and that is perfect. That's the perfect storm. Really positive part is that there's been a lot of younger men commented and messaged saying how much they love being with an older woman. And the reason is, is that we're more comfortable with ourselves. We don't feel so insecure about our bodies because we know our bodies don't look like they used to. And we're okay with that. We're comfortable with that. And my theory is if you're lucky enough to be lying next to me, then you are going to love what's there. So why would I feel embarrassed or ashamed or insecure? So a bit of a message to the older women, just love who you are, embrace it. That confidence will come out. Men will be attracted to that of any age 
but it appears that the younger men especially. And if you're on the apps and you're not having any luck with the older guys, because and they're not really treating you like the queen that you are, then drop that age group down by five years, give it a spin and see whether or not you match with a younger man and whether or not he will match your energy. Here's what I'll say about women that date younger men. Often it's when they have felt undesired for a really long time in a similar age relationship. What I mean by that is they may have been married or had kids with somebody and that passion has gone and it's kind of disappeared. So what happens is that they seek a really young man to just feel desired again. And that's the same thing with men, but slightly more with women that do that because it's not our nature to go for younger men. Um, but once a woman's had her kids, she can almost act like a man when it comes to selecting a partner and often that means choosing whoever makes her feel more desirable. Why younger men prefer dating older women? Because with an older woman, she just knows how to take good care of a man. With older women, you never starve. Even when you go to the restaurant, she starts eating the moment the food arrives. You'll be like, how oh, baby, boomerang? She's like, ah, oh, I, I never ordered a boomerang, I mean, I ordered chicken. <laughs> And no matter where you are, all the women always got snacks and food and shit. You guys gonna be stuck somewhere in the desert. She's like, oh, don't ride it. Let me reach into my bra. She takes out four slices of bread, steak, fish and chips, and a can of Coke. And the thing about dating older women is there are never any dark days. Your phone could be flat and it's load shedding. She's like, baby, don't ride it. Uh, hold my breast. Now, wait till I put that in the rate. Oh, yeah, just watch out for the wires. You know, even the sex with an older woman is different. The mature female body is so beautiful. And after sex, you're never bored. You can be there playing on a stretch marks like, if Zambia is here, South Africa is here. And the safety is not an issue. Like with an older woman, you'll never break your neck trying to reach out for the titty <sighs> during woman on top. Because with an older woman, the titty comes down to you. She'll be breathless and shit like, oh, you have so much stamina, baby. Oh. Nah, Monique, it's only been two minutes. You're just old. The thing about sex with an older woman, it's safe and it's predictable. There's some conversations you'll never have. You will be like, hey, boy, no, say, but what are you doing? Oh, baby, sorry, I read that that's where your G-spot is. You'll never have to worry about that shit. But the women don't even know what a G-spot is. They only recently discovered that they have a clit. And it was because of lockdown. Hi, hey, boy, I also have a clit. Yo, uba be beng ropa. And the thing about it with older women, the fridge is always full of food and shit. Between runs, there's always refreshments. Go to the fridge and you get her children's juice boxes. It's nice. And now I'm going to give you five reasons why younger men are interested in older women. First of all, because many older women, they are already in divorced or separated or they have kids or they kind of tick those boxes, which are called, you know, the box of marriage and the box of kids. So they come in the package with less, uh, less commitment and less headache because most of them, maybe they don't want to get married again and have kids. And these guys, they are not ready. They just want to have a good time. Number two is because older women, they have more knowledge and they have more experience. And I guess guys could learn more things from them. Number three is because allegedly older women, they're more mature and they have their shit together. But this is kind of debatable because I know so many women my age, they're in their 40s or older. They don't have any shit together and they are still behaving like they're in high school. Number four, because intimacy, it's much better. An older woman is supposed to be more experienced than, uh, I don't know, a 20 year old one. And last but not least, older women can look fabulous. 40s are the new 30s and 50s are the new 40s. They can look very good. They can be very well maintained and preserved. They can be in very good shape and they are a lot of fun to have around. Did you know that in ancient cultures, older women were used to train young studs to become great lovers? So we all know that when younger men want to be great lovers, they will engage the services of an older woman. That doesn't mean that love cannot flourish. It doesn't mean that there aren't young men with old souls who want to love a grown woman. But we have to be very careful that we don't get carried away with the narrative. So it is very natural to be cautious, to take your time, to really see if the dynamic makes sense with you. And if it does, and if you're okay with the dynamic, if you're okay being the provider, for instance, if you're okay being the dominant one, if you're okay being the masculine in that relationship, that can work a treat. But you will always be at a bit of a disadvantage if certain dynamics are not in place. One of the most surprising aspects of being a 53-year-old cougar dating younger men in their 20s and 30s 
has been their willingness to explore things with women my age that they would never consider exploring with women their own age. Actually, I have a few hypotheses about this. Number one being younger men certainly are very curious. And of course, older women bring experience to the table. So younger men look for older women for this experience. The most important aspect here, I believe, is that younger men feel safe with older women in terms of their exploration and adventuring, if you will. And this is not a knock against younger women. Please don't take it that way. From my conversations with younger men, they've shared that sometimes when they maybe have pushed the envelope a little, maybe uh, younger women are more apt to laugh or mock or judge a younger man for what he wants to explore. And older women, I don't think typically do that. We're like, yeah, let's bring my, let, let's bring my experience to the table. Let's have a good time. Let's do what you want to do. Let's try things. And, you know, I don't know their friend network, social network, work network. I'm, I'm not out and about with them. There's nobody I can go tell some scandalous piece of information to. Um, it's just really like a friends with benefits or, or a one-off kind of a thing. And younger men feel safe with this. Five reasons why younger men date older women. Let's get to it. Number one, older women are very direct. Older women don't have time for games. They know what they want. They know what you want. They all about getting straight to it. A lot of times, older women make the first move. They give you a compliment or they just come straight out and say, what's up? That's good for guys that got approaching anxiety. Number two, older women are busy, kids, career, etc. She's not spending her whole day worried about you. She's not blowing you up. She's not stalking you. She got her own life and she got her own career. Older women, they know what's up. She knows you talk to other women. They not worried about that. They know the game. They have experience. Number three, older women are more down to earth. Older women are more down to earth because in their 20s, they were used to being worshipped. Everybody was kissing her ass. Now she's in her 40s. She's not getting the same attention as she was getting in the 20s. So now she's more humble. Their standards are no longer super high. She's no longer acting like she is God's gift to men because she understands that the world is not worshiping her the way she used to be worshipped. Number four, you don't need to be rich to get an older Let's woman. Let's be honest. Most older women are just happy to have a man, a decent looking man. As long as you got your own crib, car, and a career, and you got something going for yourself, she rocking with Older you. women are just looking for a good time. And when I say a good time, that means she just want that hot beef injection. Number five. She got money. All the money she got from child support. All the money she got from her previous marriage. All the money she got from alimony. She's just looking to spend that shit. And she gonna spend that shit on a young dude. An older woman with a younger man is a very different story. For good reason. Because we have biological differences that are valid. And it plays out differently in relationships. Now I'm talking about significant age gap. So if it's like one, two, maybe even three years. Although I wouldn't go that far if you can avoid it. Uh, then it's not really that consequential. But if it's a significant age gap, then there's going to be some problems. You're going to see issues around polarity. So the man is not necessarily going to be the one who is leading. The woman may be more in charge. She may be more controlling. She may be more mothering. Or she may just feel like she's more competent than he is. She has more of her ducks in a row financially, socially, emotionally. She's just more mature, perhaps. And so he's going to feel more like a little boy, you know, like a little Peter Pan syndrome happening. And she may be romantic, like towards him. She may feel passion. She may be very attracted to him and really enjoy his energy being a little bit more, you know, lighthearted and, and fun and adventurous and all of that stuff. But he needs to mature in his masculinity. There are occasions when I have worked with people when it's worked out. And this is the caveat. Usually it works out if and only if the man, the younger man, has some kind of trade-off. So if he has a liability that he's got to deal with and he brings to the table, it's going to even out and neutralize her age difference. So just something undesirable about him. It could be like financially, maybe he's bankrupt or it could be he's not that attractive and he feels like this is him doing his best. So he could be very mature and competent in a lot of different ways, but just there's some issue going on that makes it difficult for him to find someone who's a little bit more age appropriate for him. But this is the biggest issue. Legacy. So a younger man who is swept away in his feelings is 
kind of effeminate, right? Because he needs to be grounded in objectivity first and foremost in order to make and discern who is the best partner for him and not just chase his feelings, whether that's lust or love, and pick a woman based on that. But he needs to be thinking about his future. And if he wants children, then it's going to be his entire legacy potentially on the line. If he chooses to fall in love with a woman and seek a marriage and family with a woman who's older than him, if he can do better, right? Like, I understand we're, we're all romantics at heart, but ultimately we need to be wise about the person we choose to marry. So having a short, healthy relationship is one thing, but who you're going to end up with for the rest of your life and build that legacy with needs to be a very conscious decision based on my three factors in the vetting system. So it's chemistry, compatibility, and connection. All right, well, I guess I'll go on a rant listing off some of the reasons. Uh, one, you guys aren't on dating apps most of the time, so you don't treat dating like it's a game. We aren't Pokemon just to collect until you find someone else that's better to replace us with. You aren't talking to fucking 10 people at once, going on like six dates a week with six different people. You don't play the whole texting game of, I'm going to see if he'll text me back. I'm not going to text him. I'm going to make him want me. I'm going to test his loyalty. You guys don't seem to do that. You actually want to have genuine conversations, get to know us, comfort us, show that you care about our emotions and feelings and that we are just people. And actually, you know, enjoy genuine time together. The dating world today has just gotten so out of control. I wouldn't even call it dating anymore. It's just toxic manipulation of one another. 